welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe, turn on that bell notification so you know whenever I upload a new video. Like this video, comment down below what you think, follow me on Instagram, my handle will be down on the screen below. It's the same thing for TikTok, be sure to check me out over there if you are not already. Now, we already know how these, you know, makeup review videos go. In the beginning, I give you the specs of the product and then I go into applying it. After that, I will give you a good little wear test and give you my final thoughts. So, if you want to go ahead and skip along to any part of this video, I have the chapters and timestamps on the screen and in the description box for you to go ahead and check out. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this flower foundation that you came to see about. So, online there's not much information. This is the Limitless Soft Matte Foundation and this is the Luminous Creamy Concealer. So, specs on the concealer from what, you know, Bauer got on the site is it is a creamy, dewy formula that is easy to blend. This product provides supple, medium coverage with a luminous satin finish available in 36 shades to go with our foundation to perfection. Um, now, for the star of the show, the Limitless Soft Matte Foundation it is a light foundation, long lasting and supple with a soft matte finish. Its formula lasts 12 hours and helps control shine for a faultless look. It is available and 51 shades which I look this is the foundation with the most shades on the market right underneath that is Urban Decay with 50 shades so I think they added that one extra shade just to one up you know not Urban Decay off the map okay um or you know at least the top of the parody you know so um it's available in 51 shades to adapt to any skin tone and undertone it doesn't give any information on the formula or what it is um, there are five categories. It's from light, light, medium, 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 deep, and deep. Some of the shades I noticed were not available. And I, cause I know all the girls ain't buy up a specific shade in two days. That's not even playing kind of games, okay? So I'm assuming they're still adding or still, you know, doing something because some of them are not available. They're still not available in the Zara locations. Trust me, I've called so many times. That's why I'm so late to doing this review because I really did not want to order it online because if you've been online, I'm sure you have seen how intimidating it is and just how hard it is to find a good shade. One, because there's not even shade numbers. There are shade numbers, but they don't make it easily accessible to see. The only way you can see the shade numbers is by clicking shade finder and then going through their small little test and then it will kind of give you the shade numbers and you know, what's neutral, what's warm, what's red and all of that kind of stuff. Like Zara do better. And on top of that, what I don't like is these are final cell once you open them and to use them. So the fact that it's hard to even find your shade and you know, figure it out online on your own, it's terrible that you can't return it if you don't match, if you don't like it. I mean, they're not expensive, which I forgot to mention. This retails for $19.90, really, really good. And the concealer retails for $12.90. So, love this, love this. Okay, I love the frosted look. It feels so much different. It feels like a more expensive frost than, you know, the frost that I'm used to on other packaging. And this one is just, you know, a clear uh, nail polish like packaging. Let's go ahead and jump right into the application. If you already ordered any of the foundations or the concealers, or if you've been on the side, you know how complicated it is to find these freaking, to find a shade or whatever. Like they just make it so difficult. Like there are no shade numbers, there are nothing. And why is nobody really hyping it up? Like what's going on? This is the packaging, which I'm sure you have all kind of already seen. It looks really, really cute, really, really good. Same thing for the concealer. I got one concealer and I got two shades for the um the foundation because I wasn't too sure. So I got um W960 and N954 because sometimes I can go between go either I can either be warm or neutral. It all depends. Um this concealer looks like a gorgeous color. I got it in the shade uh N950. Yes, this looks super duper gorgeous. Um Let's go ahead and try it out. This doesn't feel like that regular frost that all uh, that I feel on all other bottles. It's like a really nice, soft, good, expensive frost. I don't know. So I feel like I probably could have gone maybe one up, 
maybe one shade up uh because this is what well, i took it i don't know let's just see let's just see let's see what's going on okay let's use i feel like i feel like it looks the same though this one does look like something that i could pretty much use more of might be a perfect shade okay so i'm gonna try the 960 warm This looks too dark. See, this is why I don't like wearing things on line. Especially makeup. Let's try the uh, N58 Neutral. Okay, so N58 Neutral looks a little bit more red than neutral. This one on, on the top is the neutral one, right? Why does it look red? Let me use the um, warm one. I just might be wrong, y'all. This just might be a nice shade for me. Um, it matches like my neck more. No, I think I like it. I think I like it. I could have probably have gone ooh, one shade. Mm. I think this is pretty on the perimeter, on the outside of my face. But I think I would have liked to create a little bit more dimension with a lighter foundation going towards the inner because if I put that same foundation here you can tell that that's not that's not the shade so this is going to do the same thing to me that um if you watch any of my other videos that um what's that foundation the new one to uh the makeup forever one did it's a little too dark but I like it on the perimeter. So this is something that I would keep for the perimeter. I'm gonna keep working with the warm one, the 960 warm, and I'm gonna put away the neutral one. She ain't it, darling. But you do know what I remember, the shade that I actually felt like was gonna be my shade was sold out. Or it just wasn't available. So either or, I couldn't get the one I actually wanted. Just half of my face, because I really wanna get a gauge of what it looks like so far i actually like the feeling of it i like the way the formula is it feels super lightweight it has some really nice coverage let me just have this mirror here has some really nice coverage um i like it i definitely like it and i really want to compare it don't see that mm -hmm. we could have went a shade lighter a shade lighter but it's doable, you know, we can, we're gonna lighten it up with some concealer, it's gonna look super duper natural. I'm just gonna have to pile on some concealer, you know? I think one of these two was recommended by the, um, when you do the find my, find my shade or whatever on the site, one of these was recommended, but I was looking at the pictures and I was like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't it. But I ended up just having to get this because, I mean, what else if I can get? <laughs> The one I wanted wasn't available and I couldn't go into the store and get it, so just stuck with the option. I'm gonna let it dry down for a little bit and see what that soft mat is giving because so far, even down here, I'm seeing a little bit of luminosity and that's where I first put the foundation. So how long are we gonna take to mattify? That's what I wanna know. George, I wish my shade was available. And I know the girls ain't sell that foundation out that fast, that shade. I know the girls ain't do that. They just ain't have it available. Ain't no way. You're not going to tell me the girls sold it out that fast. Because I was on that site day after day. Don't lie to me, Zara. Now we're going to go ahead and try out the concealer. Love it. It just really reminds me of nail polish. I feel like I'm about to start, you know, painting my nails. Um, Don't tell me this shade is too dark, too. Oh, it's too dark. But whatever, whatever, oh my god, oh my god. We'll lighten it with some powder, but it's actually a nice shade for this um, foundation. Like, I'm not mad at it, you know what? Now I'm honestly looking at it, I ain't mad. Let me show y'all uh, what I would typically go for when it comes to concealers. So that lighter shade is what I normally go for. This Dorka one. It's all right. We're going to see how it goes. Probably will give me some natural, nice, some nice natural definition. Um, but yeah, you know, we're going to have to cake some of this on. But I think it's a great match for this. I picked this shade out as well. I absolutely hate ordering foundation online and having to guess what I am. I really do hate it. I 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 hate it. 
I like the formula. It's super duper creamy. It feels really good on the skin. I'm gonna have to go back to what, 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 what was it? Five years ago when we used to put a hella concealer underneath the eyes because your girl needs to come back to life, okay? I think adding this lighter foundation, we're definitely gonna get the lift that is desperately needed to make this look good. I think I think this is actually gonna come out really, really pretty. So, so far what I see as the foundation is laying down, I don't see any soft matte on my, on, for the foundation, like, and it has been on for, what, a good 10 minutes? I'm not, I'm, I'm getting luminosity, and I like it, you know, I like it, I'm cool with it, but don't call it soft matte. Don't call it soft matte if it's giving natural long wear radiance. Okay, that, that, that's, that's all that I have to say. Let's go ahead and uh, dry this down as much as possible, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I love the finish. We have brought back some definition. The concealer gets a 10 out of 10. So far, I am loving it. I'm loving the hydration, the finish, the blendability. I am loving it, okay? It's not creasing under the eye. I think this is about to be my number one concealer. Like, I'm definitely gonna go order a lighter shade. Like, we're not even playing them games when it comes to that. But this foundation, Baby, we knocking off some points, okay? We, we we knocking off the points. At least five points because I don't know, like, did y'all forget to add the matte part in the file when I was mixing up in the back? Did y'all forget to add that? I feel like you stole my money. I feel like you robbed me with no gun. Why did y'all lie? I'm not boo boo or the fool. I wasn't born at night or last night. But I honestly don't know what time I was born because every time I ask my mama, she's switching the stories. But other than that, this is not matte. Okay, y'all need to take it back, recall, redo. Double R, double R, we on the double R shift. Recall and redo. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face. I love how we're looking right now, and I'm gonna come back. Um, my, my makeup has been done for like a minute now, maybe like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it's been done. I've just been like doing some other stuff. Um, okay, so face is on. I feel like I'm going in and out of focus. The nose isn't, I feel like I'm going in and out of focus. I don't know. What? What is going on, camera? Why we keep going out of focus? Do your job. So we got a little ponytail in the back, y'all. I'm ready to put a wig on my head. The face is completely on. Right now, I am loving it. I'm giving y'all bronze, natural real girl. Okay, I'm giving y'all bohemian princess that's been outside for a couple of days during summertime, summertime, summertime. Um, the luminosity of the foundation and the concealer is really something that I like and appreciate, although I'm upset at the fact that it's supposed to be soft matte. Right now, it's only giving what it's giving because I went ahead and set everywhere with some of my Studio Fix MAC Press Powder, and that's the only reason why it's not giving the your skin but better look that we were looking at earlier. So yeah, I'll be back in maybe three hours tops, okay? All right, y'all. It is 9.48 and I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready to wash this off and go to bed. Now, is it one of my favorite faces? No. Like you, girl, 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 you see that I don't look that good. Like you see it yourself, I see it. Um, I don't know what it is that I don't like about it. I did feel like I was going to be much more greasier than this, so. I don't know. I just, I don't, ugh, I don't like it. Um, So, um, I'm going to stick with my original score of giving the foundation a five. Um, mostly because it's not matte like it said it was, and I don't really, I don't really like the way I look. And let me see if it's because I ain't got a wig on. Maybe it's because I ain't got a wig. Cause sometimes when your makeup is done and you don't got a wig on, bro, you be looking crazy. So let me put this little dusty wig on my hair real quick. Let me see, let me see if it's because I ain't got a wig on. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna fix this wig a little bit, just a little bit, and see if that's, <laughs> It's like here and here, it's giving gray. I think it's the foundation um, or the concealer or it's one or the other that's just not sitting right with me. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I'm really not liking it because of the shade. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's because it's not my shade, so it just looks crazy, but I don't know. Because I liked it a little bit earlier. Look at the braids. Look at the braids, y'all. The braids, the braids, the braids. Oh my God. And I don't like it. Even with the wig. And the lashes. And the lips. No, I look like a grease monkey. It's not giving. Uh-uh. I liked the way it looked when I initially added the concealer. So I don't know if when I added the powder, it just didn't go or whatever have you. Hey y'all, it's editing Alex. I think I deleted this, the ending clip or whatever. But anyways, ignore this. I am peeling and I don't want to rip the skin off. My thoughts for the foundation and the concealer basically just stayed the same. Like the foundation tried it, calling it soft matte and it's really luminous. So it still is a five out of 10, okay? The concealer though, 10 out of 10, definitely about to order me another one right now as we speak. Um, be sure to like this video if you have liked what you've seen. Comment down below what you think. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Whether you are subscribed or not, hit that bell notification. That way you are notified every single time I upload a video. You already know that. Follow me on Instagram. My handle will be down on the screen right over here. Let me move this a little bit of crispy. I got a little bit of wine left. My Instagram handle will be down here on the screen. It's the same thing for TikTok. Check me out over there. See y'all in my next video.